Hi, I'm Mark Richard Adams, post-production specialist. Come join me on Colour Me In for another post-production demonstration. Hi and welcome back. I'm going to do a short Avid demo today and this one is going to be to do with a couple of tools that, that I picked up or I started learning about 25 years ago when I started to use Avid. And um, throughout my career, I've, I think it's something got sort of a little bit lost in the ether. Um, they are really, really important and it can be really helpful with mapping. So we're going to talk about the command palette and the keyboard layout. Something that's incredibly important as you might want to map the keyboard in a different way. The way we're going to do it is at the minute this is set out with my settings. I have my marquee settings here and they're laid out in a FCP a seven configuration weirdly uh, but that's the way I decided to do it I found in Final Cut Pro 7 the keyboard allow easier than Avid and uh, Premiere actually so that's what I decided to do and it works really well um, what I do now is I map Avid in terms of the basic keystrokes and I set up a settings profile and called it Marquee the way we would go about that is uh, by doing two things First, jump to Tools and go to Command Palette. So what do we have? We have different tabs, um, lots of tabs actually, for all manner of quite unique and interesting tools. Loads of stuff that you never use, by the way. Uh, you've got Play Length here as well. That's quite important if your system is struggling for performance. Um, mark in, mark out, all the other overrides, replace edits that you might want to move. You've got trims, effects, 3D, color correction, multicam. So loads and loads of really quite handy tools um, that might be hidden um, from you. I basically want to, on this side, on the source monitor side, you see all these little boxes, they're all configurable tools, most of them anyway. Um, and you'll notice over here I've got um, go to and go to out. I don't really want those anymore. What I want to do is find the um, uh, field tool okay so if I go to move and you can see that I've got the um, you, can, you can go step forward one frame but I actually want the step forward one field that's really really important because you can see the individual fields moving if you shot interlaced of course I'm just going to drag these two tools onto the source browser I've actually configured my source browser that's good and you could do it on the other side too uh, for example we could go to multicam and we could drag the quad split on the gang. So you can you can map it however you want. So these are all configurable. But um, there is also the keyboard layout. And if you look in um, settings here, you'll see that we have, uh, we've got keyboard layouts. The one that's ticked is the one that we're on. So if you double click on it, you can see that we now, with the command palette open and the keyboard, we can now map these keys. So as you can see, I've mapped transitions to F1 like markers for F2, add edits to F3, um, remove effects, F4, all of these useful tools mapped to my F keys. So the keyboard is easily configurable. You can move and you can drag, it's easy. What's also really cool here is that you can actually hold down the shift key and you can see the other layer of mapping that I've, I've done here. So, you know, for example, I've got match bin here, so I can press when this is mapped, I can press shift and F, and that will be my match bin. But on the top layer, I've just got match frame. So sort of very similar keys to uh, Final Cut Pro 7, but that works for me, it might not work for you. So just go through, find the tool that is really useful to you. So you might want to um, choose, like Play Loop, for example, um, that's quite a handy tool to have. So you can mind pick that up and drag it and stick it over there. And that's locked now to Play Loop. So you can close this down and all of that is now set, okay? So your keyboard is, is set to and is configured to the way that you want it to be. So just very simply, if you want to do that in the future, go to Tools, go to Command Palette, that'll bring up your Command Palette with all your tools, and then go to Keyboard, and this will give you a configurable keyboard to configure your tools and then create your personalised layout. It's really important. Hope you've enjoyed that video. Catch you next time. If you liked that video, please give me a like or subscribe or type in down below demos you'd like to see next. Catch you next time.